What is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Full Body Conditioning. I am so excited to share today's workout with you because a common belief about weightlifting is that it boosts your metabolism, which while this is technically true, when you're interpreting science, it's all about effect size. An activity could boost your metabolism by 2% or by 20%. Both would technically, could technically be counted as an increase in metabolism. If something only increases your metabolism by 2%, that's only a few extra calories burned per day and isn't gonna have a significant impact on your results. So when it comes to interpreting science, it's all about effect size, not just taking facts at base value, but actually combining the right science with the right training techniques to work smarter, not harder. This is why I love metabolic conditioning and the full body conditioning workout I'm gonna share with you today. We're combining the benefits of cardio with weightlifting, so we're gonna burn a ton of calories during the workout, get the instant benefits of that, but because we're training with weights, you're also gonna get the metabolism boost from maintaining muscle, plus the afterburn effect of training at a high intensity. So you're getting the best of both worlds without struggling through hours of cardio, without burning calories at the expense of also burning muscle. Today's workout is part of the three-in-one method that we developed for our new full body fit guide, which depending on the day, brings the intensity in one of three ways. So earlier this week, we focused on strength and power. Today, we're focusing on conditioning. Then later this week, we will shift gears to focus on muscle building. The full body fit guide is designed to progress in intensity and difficulty week after week. So with these workouts specifically, you can expect to work longer, do longer intervals with less rest as we progress. I'll put all that info in the description box down below. Otherwise, all you need for now is a lighter set of weights, a heavier set of weights, plus your optional team band. I will be using a set of five pound weights, 15 pound weights, plus my yellow light resistance team band. I believe that's it for now, so if you're ready to get started, make sure to shoot me a thumbs up and let's get into it. Getting into our first exercise, we have the suitcase swing to mix grip reverse lunge. We're doing this for 30 seconds max intensity, followed by a one minute rest before we go into the next exercise. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my heavier weights. We're going to start with our feet shoulder width or just inside shoulder width apart. Weights hanging by our sides. We're going to sit back at the hips to load the movement up. Then we're going to drive our hips forward as forcefully as we can, transferring the momentum from our hips to bring the dumbbells up here. Okay, so again, that first part of the movement looks like this. Bring it up. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to step back with the right leg, and at the same time, we're gonna let the right arm come down. As we come back up, bring that weight back up in front. Suitcase swing. Repeat on the other side, alternating as we go. Now, if that's too difficult, you have a couple options here. You can either drop your weight or we can do a simpler exercise. So, simpler exercise, we're gonna start the same way. Suitcase swing, but we're gonna keep the weights up here. We're just gonna step back, swing, step back, alternating as we go. All right, the key is that you're keeping the intensity up. You're doing so safely. We're not letting our coordination go as we fatigue. We're doing our best, we're doing our best intensity, our best effort to the duration of this interval. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my light team band. If you need to drop weight midway through the interval, if you need to drop to that simpler variation, feel free. As long as you are moving as quickly as you can, not giving yourself too much rest during the work interval, you will be good to go. All right, so we're getting on a five, four, three, Two, and one, max intensity, let's do this. Okay, so starting from a low kneel, just like this. Weights back by your hips, leaning forward, keeping that core nice and tight. We're going to explode forward through our hips as we do, bringing the weights up, pressing them overhead. Okay, then reversing the motion, bringing them back. What we wanna do is work that into one smooth movement. So we can do it fast, we can do it at intensity, just like this, okay? So it's swing, 
thrust forward at the hips. Use that momentum to bring weights forward and up. If that's too difficult, either drop the weight or if you're not comfortable with that movement, just go here to here for a kneeling push press, okay? Because we are off, let's do this.
They're making ugly faces. Oh, oh my. Final exercise of this first round is gonna be the woman maker burpee. Ooh, I know if you've been following our channel, this little lady's back, all right? What we're doing is starting with dumbbells in front, drop it into a squat, put the dumbbells down, jump or step your feet out, give me a push up, okay? From there, jump or step your feet back in, weights up, squat, two press, okay? So tab exercise, I'm going to drop to my lighter weights. You are more than welcome to do the push up from your knee as well if you need to. So one more time, that's gonna look like, using my lighter weights this time. <laughs> We're gonna go squat, drop, step or jump out, push up, step or jump in, squat to press, repeat, okay? You can do this, we can do this, max intensity, let's go. Condition to push every energy system to the max. All right, this is our last round. It's the last round you have to make it through. So as a reminder, our first exercise is going to be that suitcase swing to mix grip lunge. Alternating side to side as we go. So it's gonna look like this. Suitcase swing, lunge. Suitcase swing, lunge. Dropping the same side, arm as the leg you're stepping back with. If that's too tough, just go swing. Lunge from here, alternating sides as you go. Drop your weights if you need to, because we are off right back in now. safety. If you need to drop weight, if you need to drop to an easier variation, do it. I did it at the end of the last one. It's so important when we're training at intensity to keep safety in mind. As you fatigue, we lose coordination, increase of injury, risk of injury goes up. All right, you can see where my brain's at. But getting to kneeling, clean, and press, starting from a low kneeling position, leaning forward. We're going to drive through our hips, transfer that momentum to get the weights here, press up, Reverse, repeat in one smooth motion. If that's too tough, either drop the weight or go to an easier exercise, like the kneeling push press. So weights here. Again, drive through the hips. Boop. Bump those weights up. Okay. Just like that. Because we are off. Yeah. 
this one okay weights in front drop it like a squat bring it up weights tight to our chest squeeze them into those boobies bend forward row hinge squat hinge row hinge squat okay drop your weight if you need to you've seen I have dropped two easier exercises easier variations on the past couple because safety is so important, it's actually better if you drop the exercise variation you're doing. It's something easier if it lets you maintain intensity, okay? I'm out of breath. Oh, we're gonna finish this. We're getting going in. Five, four, three, two, and one, let's do this. when I'm tired. Okay, next exercise is the around the world bear curl. So hands and knees. I might turn my heavier weights, I might not, I don't know. Hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Flex the toes under. Hover up, keeping those feet nice and wide. Row, row, tap, tap. That's too difficult. Keep your knees on the ground. Stay down here, same thing. Row, row, tap, Tap. If you are using a band, make sure that you're pulling against that band to deepen the core contraction. Whew. That sweat dripping into my mouth. Okay. I'm actually going to use my lighter weights. That was a little bit hard. Feel pull on my shoulder a little bit. So we're going to keep it safe. We're going to keep our intensity up. Using those lighter weights. I'm getting going in. Ready for it? Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. As you feel it, I want you exploding right back up, okay? All about speed, all about intensity. Now, if you're losing grip, as I am right now, it's okay to stay with a regular grip here. Just grab it like this. Just don't tap the ground, okay? So go here, whatever range lets you stay going quick, going fast. So we're getting going in. Five, four, three, two, and one, let's go. Exercise. I want to make a burpee. 
Why are we ending on that? But to make it fun, you're gonna hate me. I want you to go for as many reps as possible, okay? I'm gonna use my lighter weights. I want you to go as fast as you can, as many reps as you can. If you have dropped to knee push-ups, I don't care. But after this, I want you to comment how many woman maker burpee reps you got, okay? That's how I know that you made it through the workout, that you brought your best effort, showed up for yourself. So as a reminder, what this is gonna look, is we're going to start in the weights in front, drop it like a squat, put the weights down, step or jump your feet up, push up, step or jump your feet in, up, press, repeat. Okay, as fast as you can, as many reps as you got, so we're done after this. matters that I bring my best effort, you bring your best effort, my effort, it's gonna look different from your effort, but as long as you are showing up for yourself, you are showing up with the intention, form, and focus in your workouts, you will get results, you will progress forward, because we can only progress from where we're at now. I apologize, I'm like, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did, make sure to shoot me a thumbs up, and remember, you can get more workouts like this, you can get more of that three-in-one method in the full body fit guide. Put a link in the description box down below if you wanna check that out. For now, I gotta go get some water, I gotta get a towel, I gotta collect my words, cause I literally can't talk after that. But thank you for working out with me. I always love working out with you, and I can't wait for our next workout together.